when I say go, you're going to pick up your ball with your hands. You're going to go stand back to back with the partner. If you cannot find a partner, please come see me. You got 10 seconds. Go. 10, 9. Okay, I need uh, one person to put their ball up. One person is going to keep their ball. One person put their ball up. One person keep their ball. You got five seconds. Five. Person with the ball, please put the ball on the ground between your feet. Okay. If you do not have the ball, I want you to go find some open space. I want you to spread your feet apart like this. Go find some open space and spread your feet apart. Make a bridge with your feet. All right, Adam. Let me make the bridge, Adam. All right, friends, this is what you're going to do. Please listen. You have 60 seconds. If you don't have the ball, your job is to stay completely still. Put your hand in the air. You're going to keep your eyes glued on your partner the entire time because you're going to be their scoreboard. Every time they dribble a ball through someone's feet, you're going to put one point on the scoreboard for them, okay? They're not going to keep track of their score. You are watching them the whole time. You're going to watch every time they dribble through a bridge, you're going to put a point on the scoreboard. After one minute, they're going to come back to you. You're going to tell them what their score is. Who should your eyes be on? Your partner. Now, if you got the ball, you're going to be just dribbling through as many bridges as you can. You're not allowed to go through the same bridge two times in a row. So you need to go to a different bridge after you go through one person's bridge. You can't just go back and forth in the same bridge. You try to get as many as you can. You're not kicking the ball hard. You got to keep it close. Use control. You're trying to see how many you can get in 60 seconds. Any questions? No, sir. All right. Scoreboard's up. Keep your eyes on your partner. If you got the ball, get ready to go. Here we go. Time is up, time is up. Please go back to your partner, find out your score, and get one tip. Give your partner one tip, one piece of advice. How can they get better next time? Okay, please remember, do not forget your score. You're gonna need that, you're gonna need that in a minute. Remember that score that you got. All right, we're switching places. So now you are in the new bridge, spread your feet apart. New bridge, spread your feet apart, put your scoreboard up. Glue your eyes on your partner and do not take your eyes off your partner. You got the ball, please remember your soft touches. Keep that ball nice and close. Don't kick it too hard. You're going through as many bridges as you can in 60 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, trap. Go back to your partner and get your score. Go back to your partner and get your score. You are now going to switch places with your partner and you're uh, gonna try for the wow challenge. Wow challenge today is to see if you can beat your score. So whatever your score was the first time, you're going to try to beat it the second time. If you got six, you need to get seven to hit the wow. If you got ten, you need to get eleven to hit the wow. If you got three, you're going for a four. Trying to beat that score for the wow. Everybody understand what you're doing? Yeah. All right, here we go on your mark. Get set. Go. Scoreboard's up. <laughs> Raise your hand if you were able to beat your score the second time around. How many people we got? All right, hands down. So that was most of us. Some of us didn't beat your score. If you didn't beat your score, everybody say, no big deal. Everybody say, it's just a game. Everybody say, it's just a game. It's just a game. After all, it's just a game. Turn around, face this way. Please don't talk while I'm talking. That is very rude. Okay, if you were able to beat your score, raise your hand and tell me, why do you think you were able to beat your score the second time around? What do you think, Dylan? It's because it's just like a little practice for the, for the first round. In the second round, it's like you get it, so you just have to just do what you do in the first round and try to beat your score. Yeah, so that P word practice is very important. You got one round of practice, so every time you practice, you're going to get a little bit better. So it makes sense that second time around, you would get a little bit better because you've already done it one time. The more you practice the skill, the better you're going to be at it. If you want to be good at something, keep on doing it over and over again, and you'll be able to get better and better, a little bit better each time you do it. Adam? Um, if you look for, um, like, like a lot of people that, like, do go, like, really close to each other, 
and you just try, try to, and like if they're like, what, like there's one person here and like another person like right behind them, if they're lucky you can get a straight ball, you can get like two in one, it's like knocking out two birds with one stone. Yeah, so you might have figured out some strategy here in that first round. You might have figured out that there was one side of the gym that had a few more people than the other side, and you spent some time over there on the side that had more bridges to go through. So that was using your brain a little bit, trying to figure out some strategy to get a better score. What else, Luca? Okay, yeah, so you're figuring some things out. Also, you had a number in your head that second time, didn't you? Yes. What is that called when you have something that you're shooting for? A goal. A goal. It's called a goal. If you have a goal, that helps motivate you to do better, and that can help you improve your score as well. Okay, so those are awesome, great takeaways from that game. Awesome job, friends. If you got the wow, make sure you hit the wow on the way out. If you didn't get it, no big deal. Make sure you hit that good job. If you were not following directions, you need to keep on trying. Please uh, try to make sure you fix those problems before next week. We're going to be doing soccer for two more weeks. So if you have a ball at home, practice some of those footwork drills that we worked on on the video. It will help you improve your skills.